The Nitro Pack is our high pressure calibration kit with an onboard nitrogen cylinder that can provide very precise test pressure up to 3,000 psi or 210 bar. It's portable, can provide multiple calibrations without recharging, and can be connected and used without tools, tape, or sealants. Before we get into the operation, let's go over the layout of the ports, gauges, and controls. Everything is labeled and numbered for easy reference. At the top right, number one, is the nitrogen fill port, backed up by a one-way check valve. Below that is number two, the system fill valve that opens the nitrogen cylinder to the calibration system. Number three is the regulator pressure adjustment knob, which controls downstream pressure. The gauge at number four is the tank pressure gauge, so you know how much pressure you have left in your nitrogen cylinder. The gauge at number five is the pressure downstream of the regulator. Six is the supply valve that sends the pressure regulated nitrogen to the calibration gauge and device under test. Seven is the fine adjust piston, a vernier thread for dialing in precise pressure settings for calibration. Number eight is the vent valve for bleeding off the system. Nine and 10 are both pressure ports for your calibration gauge and device under test. Now that you're familiar with the layout, let's take a look at how to operate the Ralston Nitro Pack. Of course, before you use it, you'll have to charge the onboard nitrogen cylinder. So we'll start there. Before connecting any pressure source to the Nitro Pack, be sure the system fill valve is closed. Remember that the system fill valve is used to fill the test side of the Nitro Pack not the cylinder. Now connect a hose to the fill port with a Ralston quick test fitting, finger tight with no tools required. The other end is attached to your regulated gas supply. Now open the valve from your supply. The fill process may make some noise. This is normal. The tank pressure gauge will tell you how much pressure is in the nitro pack cylinder. When you have sufficient pressure or the two cylinder pressures are equal, Turn off your supply and disconnect the hose. Our quick test fittings are self-venting, so you don't have to manually vent the hose. Also, the check valve behind the fill port prevents gas from escaping. Cap the port when finished filling. And then you're ready to calibrate all day long without recharging the cylinder. Now here's the calibration process. Connect your reference gauge or calibrator to the number 9 pressure port quick test fitting. We're using a 45 degree L for easier reading. You can also use a 90 degree L or mount it straight up or with a hose. Connect one end of your hose to the number 10 pressure port. And the other end to the device under test with a Ralston quick test adapter. To perform your test, turn the pressure regulator to zero all the way to the left. This prevents unregulated pressure from going to your gauge. Close the vent valve. Open the supply valve, number six. Now open your system fill valve to allow nitrogen to flow to the regulator. The nitro pack gauges show our cylinder pressure and the regulated pressure, which is currently zero. Next, turn the regulator clockwise watching your pressure reference until you are just below your first test pressure point, as we'll fine adjust it for testing. Then close the supply valve to isolate the test side from the regulated pressure. You now have static pressure on the test side. The fine adjust piston, number seven, is pressurized on both sides of the piston, allowing you to adjust your test pressure up or down with great accuracy. Dial it in, up or down, until you achieve your first test point. When your calibration gauge is stable, perform your readings on the device under test and move on to your next test point. If you're moving up in pressure, open the supply valve. Raise your regulated pressure to your next approximate test pressure. Close the supply valve so you have static pressure on the test side. Adjust the vernier. and take your readings. Then continue moving up the range until you're complete. Again, that's open the supply, raise the regulator, close the supply, dial it in, 
and take your readings. It is possible to move up your pressure settings just using the fine adjust piston, especially if there's a very low volume of gas involved. However, this can create a large differential pressure between the top and bottom of the fine adjust piston, making it very hard to turn. If this occurs, simply turn your regulated pressure up to near your current test pressure. This will equalize the pressure on both sides of the rear piston. If you're moving down in pressure test points, the process is a little different. First, close the system fill valve to prevent the system from repressurizing during venting. Open the supply valve to equalize the pressure on the top and bottom of the vernier piston. Then bleed the vent valve slowly until you are near your test point. Close the vent. Close the supply valve and dial in your next pressure with a vernier. Then take your readings. Continue in the same way down through your test points. Again, moving down that's close the system fill valve, open the supply valve, bleed the vent valve to close to your next point, close the vent, Close the supply valve, fine adjust, and take your readings. It's a pretty simple process. Just keep in mind that your test side needs to be isolated from the regulated pressure by closing the supply valve before performing any tests. Once you've completed all your tests, here's how to shut down your nitro pack. Close the system fill valve to isolate the nitrogen cylinder. Turn the regulator fully clockwise, which vents any pressure upstream of the regulator. Open the supply valve, which equalizes pressure across the vernier. Then open the vent valve, which vents the system, including the gauge and hose. Disconnect the reference device. Pack them up in the storage compartment. Disconnect the hose. And move on to your next location. Ralston's Nitro Pack Portable Calibration Kit provides a precise nitrogen source for calibrating differential and static pressure instrumentation in a convenient, easy to carry, easy to use, self-contained unit. It will become an indispensable tool in your field calibration arsenal. For more information on all of our products, visit RalstonInst.com. <music>